Many students struggle with questions involving histograms and the basis of that is really a misunderstanding of what a histogram is. A histogram, such as the one presented here, um, is a diagram where you have various different bars that are joined up. Quite often the bars are different widths, but it's the area of the bar itself that actually represents the frequency. It is not the height of the bar. It is the area. So we're looking at the areas of each of these bars to see which one, for example, would have the most number of people. So what you have here on the axes um, along the horizontal here, you would have the height, for example, and quite often these groups are different sizes. And they give you a range of values uh, that are continuous, no gaps. And on the vertical here, you have frequency density. To work out the um, number within a group here, within a bar, you would actually multiply the width of the bar by the height, the height being the frequency density. That would then give you the number of people or items that that bar represents. So let's look at this question in detail. It says that the histogram gives information about height, h in centimeters, of each tree in part of a forest. So we have heights ranging from 200 being the shortest to 800 being the highest. And we have a frequency density, but we do not have the scale here. So this is gonna cause us a bit of a, a problem. It tells us that there are no trees um, less than 200, no trees greater than 800. That's clearly shown on the diagram. The number of trees for which uh, H is, you could say, between 300 and 400 is eight fewer than the number of trees between 400 and 500. Work out an estimate for the number of trees in this part of the forest which have a height greater than 500. So let's break that down a little bit. Um, number of trees for which H is between 300 and 400. So that is this section here. Let's just color this in red. This section here is this section here. And then that is eight fewer than the number of trees between 400 and 500. So 400 is this bar plus this section of the second bar. So that's really what uh, we're looking at here. And we're saying the difference between these is eight. So there are eight fewer in the, in the red bar than there is in the blue shape. Now, there are many ways of approaching the question, but just one way of looking at it is just look at the, the squares. Here we have, if we look at the, the major centimeter squares here, here we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six squares in that section there. Now, in the blue section, we have one, two whole ones there, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus we have half a square here, and half a square here. So that gives us um, 10 squares in total. So we could write a little equation on that. We could say, well, we have six squares plus eight is equal to 10 squares. We have the six squares here is eight less than the 10 here. So 6s plus 8 is equal to 10s, s being number of squares. So looking at this, then we can say, well, 8 is equal to 4 squares. And so 1 square is equal to 2, and that is 2 trees. So we know what 1 square represents. Now it asks here to work an estimate for the number of trees in this part of the forest that have a height greater than 500 centimetres. So greater than... 500 centimeters. So that's from this point here on my graph all the way across to the end of my graph. So let's just look how many whole squares we've got. Let's see if we can do that. So we have uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We have two halves above, so that makes five. We have two halves here, that makes six, and two halves here, which makes seven. So there are seven squares. that are greater than 500 centimeters. So seven times two, because it's two trees per square, equals 14 trees. And what we've done here is we've actually answered a histogram question without bothering with the frequency density at all. We've not calculated it, we've not done the scale. We've actually found a solution 
to this problem by just focusing on the area because if you remember, the area is the actual thing that represents the frequency.